A narrow gap. Barely enough room for a man to squeeze through, but big enough for a baby to survive unscathed. After almost two days trapped in the collapsed ruins of an apartment, two week old Azra was free. It's moments like this which bring joy where there was only despair. A rescue which makes people talk of miracles. A paramedic clutched the little girl to her chest as she was taken to an ambulance. Azra lived because she was protected in the arms of her mother. She remains trapped in the rubble, as does the baby's grandmother. But both are alive. Her grandfather is missing. Throughout the night, there were other examples of the perseverance of rescuers finally paying off. This 20-year-old man was stretchered away while his mother shed tears of joy rather than the grief which has visited so many families in this part of Turkey. He'd been in an internet cafe when the 7.2 magnitude quake struck. A few hours later, the 23rd person to be rescued from the cafe was also freed. It's not yet known how many died in the same building. Small coffins being taken to the local mosque bring home the human cost of this disaster, even though the exact number of those killed is still being tallied. Those who escaped injury but lost their homes face their own challenge, struggling to keep warm while they wait for tents to be delivered. While emergency centers have sprung up, the Turkish Red Crescent has admitted it hasn't done as well as it could. 13,000 tents have been sent to the area, but many more will be needed, and the distribution has been chaotic. When lorries arrived carrying blankets and shelters, people simply helped themselves. It's not known how many of them are genuinely in need, or whether they were simply taking advantage of the crisis. Yenwood.